Welcome back and all credit to you. You're still with Smart Money. I'm Kura Kyota. I'm joined by Warren Ingram and I have the ever effervescent Salem Jafta. She's a brand consumer manager at TransUnion. <sighs> she's a credit bureau, but she's approachable. She's making sense. I want to understand. Yes. My people, you're keeping them in chains, eh? This blacklisting is a problem. I thought we spoke about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I am Jabu Average right here and credit okay. bureaus in, in our community. Talk to me, there was this thing called the credit amnesty. Yes. What did it deal with? What doesn't it deal with? How did it change the game? What credit amnesty dealt with was mainly negative information that's reflecting in the credit bureau. So um, what happened is as at... April 2014, all negative information that was reflecting was removed. So I'm talking default information. That was removed, whether paid or not, because it's amnesty, so it's granting consumers amnesty. And also when As it of what date? First April 2014. Okay. April no Fool's Day 2014. <laughs> 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 not Freedom Day. <laughs> yeah. And so that's what it did. And then it looked at judgments. And then it said all paid up judgments as at that date were also removed. And why paid up judgments? Because for a consumer, in order for you to have a judgment removed, you needed to go to the court to get a rescission order for your judgment to be rescinded. So Amnesty said, as long as it's paid up and there's a paid up remark, we actually remove it from the credit bureau. But ongoing from the Amnesty, defaults used to, before the Amnesty date, reflect for two years in the credit bureaus. Now they reflect for one year. And also defaults, even if you had paid it up, it still stayed for the two-year period. All that happened was there was a remark to say account paid in full, but it would remain for two years. Now, ongoing after the amnesty, each and every default that's paid up, it gets removed. So even if you've had the default for one month, after it being paid up, it gets removed. With judgments as well ongoing, you no longer need a lawyer to represent you in court to get a rescission right. order, to then take to the credit bureau to get the judgment removed. Once it's paid up, it is then removed. So oh. it wasn't a credit amnesty. The money that I owed, if I haven't paid it back, it still sits no. there and is negative. Well, the money that you owed, <sighs> you still owe. You are still liable to pay. But I thought that's what we government was <laughs> helping us people. <laughs> we oh, rehabilitate wow. you so that your credit profile can boost your credit score. So you can borrow more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so did it change behavior? Did we see something? Did, did something good come out of this? Well, we saw... Because you, you must remember, Warren, sometimes you are in a situation, right? And you are in a situation for a short while. And you fall into a debt trap. Sometimes it's careless mistakes. It's because you didn't know what you're getting yourself into. But the amnesty making it easier for you to actually get out of the credit bureau or the negative listing it actually brings about positive change because it was also an incentive because now consumers actually want to go and pay up the debt because defaults can now be removed. Yeah. Whereas in the past, consumers would think, what's the point sure. of There's paying? There's no upside. Up. Yes, yeah, I got you. because the default is still going to remain. Now it's an incentive because they go and pay. So I, one of the questions I get asked the most, especially by young people entering the workplace, is shouldn't I go and get a credit card just so that I can build up a credit history? Is it, does it make a, an ounce of difference? All right, so yeah, people say that you need debt to get debt, you need a credit history to, in order to buy big things like a house and a car. But at the end of the day, if you don't have credit, right, it's difficult to score a consumer because you are scored based on your present and past behavior, your credit behavior. So if you don't have credit at all and you go and ask or look for credit, you might be in a position where you might get the credit, but you, it might be given to you at a high interest simply because it is hard to score you. You do not have a past payment behavior. So that's what usually happens. So I know some consumers, we would say, okay, fine, take out something small just to build up 
a credit history. You don't have to go and get a credit card or something big. It can be something small, like um, a cell phone contract, for example, just to build up that credit score for six months or so, and then you can then be so, scored. So you don't need to borrow money. All you're doing is you take out your cell phone contract and you pay it every month. You pay it every you, month you're on time. You're building up a good credit history. Okay. That's value. I've got two minutes to wrap right. this all up. As a credit active consumer, what do I do to get a credit report? What do I look at? What should I watch out for? All right. It's easy to get your credit report. You can phone the credit bureau or you can go to the website and register on the website. It's actually quick and easy to register. You put your details, we send you a username and a password, and you can access your credit report. What to look at most importantly, make sure that all your information is accurate because all that information is there is what builds your credit score. If your information is not accurate, contact the credit bureau, get it fixed. If there's negative information that should not be there, accounts that should not be there, make sure they are removed by the credit bureau. Very important for consumers, if you want to keep a healthy credit score, it is simple. When you have an account paid on the stipulated date, the agreed date, pay the full amount, paid every month. Don't say, I'll skip this month, it's fine, I'll pay double next month. That month that you skipped will be in your profile for 24 months. We leave it right there. You have been warned by the sage of the credit bureau. Stay healthy, pay it on time, pay it when it's supposed to be paid, and keep your score going up. That's all we're going to finish with this particular show. I'd love to thank Salem and Warren for being the guests, and you at home for watching. Let's keep healthy. This is Smart Money. Goodbye.